Welcome back to the Good Old Boys channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to put a 2019 or newer Honda Odyssey into neutral without a battery or any power. So this is our 2020 uh, Honda Odyssey here. You can see we got it torn apart. It uh, was in a wreck. So what we're going to do here is try and get it to shift into neutral without any battery power. All right, so we're in the engine bay here. And if you look right down in here, you can see that there's a tag with the serial number and then right beside that right here where my finger's pointing that is a uh what i believe we're going to shift the transmission with so all right so first we got a paint pen here all right so we're going to take and mark this um this shaft here that's sticking up out of the transmission and just make sure we get it put back in the right spot so i'm gonna try my best all right there we go it was about that Okay, so we just undone those two, and this just pulls off of there. Okay, perfect. So I got a little better access here. I'm using the wide view on my iPhone here, but basically, if we come into this area here between, uh, what is this, the fuse box here and the engine cover, and you guys saw we took the intake off, like I said, you come right down here this is your transmission so you got a tag here your serial number tag and then the starter is over here at least i believe that's the starter um and then right here again the thing with this red paint on it i believe is the uh, shifter for the transmission we've gone to vice grips now turn them the other way maybe so you guys can see in the video we're using vice grips now obviously honda makes a tool but we didn't have a week or a week and a half to wait for the tool we just needed to move the van quickly and get it into neutral so we use vice grips which isn't going to be a problem for you if you know what you're doing obviously you don't want to mess the threads up don't mess up the squared off part of that shaft You want me to hold the phone? Okay, it doesn't go that way. So. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I guess it could be stuck. Huh? There we go. Okay, so you got to continuously hold this thing to yeah. keep it in neutral. So that's what it is. This is a parking pole um, thing. Oh, we got to be careful. So as soon as you let this free, it goes into park. So originally what I thought the shifter was, was actually a shifter. So I thought you'd go, you know, from park to reverse to neutral to drive. Uh, so I thought you'd click it over a couple times and it would go into neutral say, well, it's actually just a parking pole actuator and you have to continuously hold it uh, into neutral. So you have to turn it to the left or counterclockwise and you guys will see that a little bit better in this next clip. So hopefully this all makes sense. Again, all that little shaft is, is a parking pole actuator. Okay. So I'm going to turn it like that and then just... Very good. Okay. Yeah. Now you hear it click. It's already in gear. <clears throat> all right so we found this spot under the floor we're thinking maybe there's some tools under here that would uh help us with the transmission possibly well, there's no tool in here it looks like for the uh for shifting the transmission which is 
not good. Well, anyway, we tried. <laughs> so the last part of the video there, obviously we were searching in the spare tire uh, section, which is behind the two driver seats in the van. We thought maybe they would include a tool for uh, putting the thing into neutral, say if you break down and your battery's not working for some reason, you could possibly go in there, grab the tool, put it in neutral, but that's not the case. We didn't find any neutral uh, positioning tool, um, which basically would have just had a squared off hole with something to a uh, lever to rotate it with. So there's nothing like that in there, unfortunately. So to recap here real quick, all you're gonna do is take that little uh, shaft that's sticking up out of the transmission. You have to turn it to the left and you have to hold it there. It won't stay. You can't just click it and it'll stay. You have to hold it for the thing to stay into neutral. So uh, you, it might take two people, one to push the van or winch the van and somebody has to stay there and hold the uh, parking pole actuator to the left for it to stay in neutral. So anyways, if you guys find yourselves in a situation where your van has a dead battery and you're trying to get it into neutral, that's where it is. It's that parking pole. Again, turn it to the left and uh, it will be in neutral. So that's it for this video. Normally I don't do videos on Honda minivans. I've got lots of other videos. So if you guys are interested, lots of stuff on Chevy Silverados. I've got some four wheeler riding video, Chinese Hawk 250 Enduro riding, uh, mini cannons. I mean, you name it, we got all kinds of neat stuff on the channel. I'll leave you guys a bunch of playlists to that stuff in the description box below. So go check that out. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Woo.